Habarias Bui, which means good morning in Swahili and welcome to the Mara Triangle. My name is Brent. I have the talented Eggsy on camera and he's shaking his head because he, I'm in such a good mood like I am most mornings. But I am continuing our love affair with probably going to be our new favorite pride of lions, the Angama Pride. And they're seven cubs, four adult females, and they are just over behind me. Where must I move? Go forward, okay. And uh, awesomely enough, just off, uh, as you can see them, can, can we see them nicely? And uh, there's a beautiful big elephant bull who's walking behind them as well. Now, from what we can see, that these lions have obviously had a snack last night. They haven't moved very far at all from where we had them last night. They're probably about 500 meters. But there's such an incredible density of uh, food species around here. Warthogs, Topi, Thompson's Gazelle, uh, Impala. Oh, I can't wait to show you an East African Impala and its monster horns. But uh, we came down quite early this morning. Uh, and it's a, it's a bit of a different day today than yesterday. Yesterday we had quite a lot of cloud cover, so it was quite cool. But uh, today it's... it's not, it's much, much more open, so it is it is it, still a very pleasant temperature, but still quite chilly. Um, but it looks like they've managed to feed overnight, so they're probably going to rest amongst those trees for, for the rest of the day. Now, we have found this pride up in the tree, as we did yesterday. So, who knows, as it gets warmer today, they might decide to start climbing to get away from all the biting flies. Well, a wonderful Habadi uh, Asbui, Shelly. Uh, Shelly would like to know, can you get as close to the animals uh, here in the Mara as you can in Juma? Yes, you can. Shelly, the reason we're not driving closer to those lines at the moment is because there has been a lot of rain and there's some marshy areas between us and the lions and uh, we would have to probably spend the rest of the day trying to dig ourselves out of the mud. But yes, if they if they are closer to the road in an area that's not... Uh, saturated with water we can definitely get uh, a lot closer to them and uh, they are as relaxed with the vehicles as uh, as as the animals are in the sabi sands it is absolutely gorgeous here this morning watch my head sorry 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 and remember hashtag safari live if you've got any questions for me about the, the Maasai Mara um, or, or the lions and as I say I, I, I'm, I'm getting to know the lions still but I, I'm very lucky that we have the, one of Angama's best guides with us today Douglas so he's helping me out giving me all the information that I might be lacking and uh, it is truly thrilling to be here and I'm quite sure we're going to be seeing these lions hunted sometime. Uh, I was chatting to Douglas a bit earlier and he says, wait for July when the wildebeest arrive and there is murder and mayhem going on everywhere. Now in certain parts of the, the Masai Mara and Serengeti ecosystem, the lions can actually really struggle uh, for food when the migration's not, not there. But one of the most incredible things about the area we, we operating in the, the, the Mara Triangle is that the resident animal species here are here all year round and there's a lot of them as you saw yesterday so these these are the lucky lions they they, they are well fed for most of the year and then they are they are absolutely obese during the migration oh and can you see that other lioness there eggs over there Hi, uh, Jeffrey uh, in Texas. Jeffrey would like to know, do these lions actually rest in the tree? Uh, yes, they do, Jeffrey. Uh, actually, uh, last night when we were with them, uh, there was an adult and I think about three cubs actually sleeping in a shepherd's tree. And it, it is not uncommon in this, this part of Africa for lions to sleep in the tree. And that's due to the amount of biting flies. So if they get a little bit of elevation, there's a bit more breeze and it keeps the flies from biting on their ears and, and, and other, other soft parts. Oh, that is a nice elephant bull coming through there. Can you see him, Zander? Is he behind the pole? He's moving towards the pole. He's moving towards the pole. 
He's behind the pole. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait for him to move out. Well, a good morning to Mind Warp, and Mind Warp, you're going to have to bear with me because I'm going to have to get some help from from Zander here, because I'm okay. Zander, you see down where Serena is. Those three. So if we point the camera there, so. Scarface Mind Warp, his territory is down there, about probably about seven or eight kilometers from here. Um, and I, he hasn't been seen for a while, I've heard. Yeah. So he is a very old lion, Doug is just saying, so he hasn't been seen for a while. Um, but maybe we'll take a meander down there this morning and see what's happening. But yeah, I know he hasn't been seen by any of the guides I've spoken to for a while. So who knows? Now, this area has, has four ma males, I've only seen one of them so far. Uh, that is that dominate over this area from here through to the edge of the triangle and 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 beyond and and the most incredible thing here is though we're in the reserve now there, there's almost no difference between in the reserve and out the reserve the animals move freely there's no fences so i think we're going to leave the angama pride well they schnooze because they definitely i think they probably ate a warthog or something last night and we're going to move down towards the mara river uh, and see what other adventures await. Isn't this so exciting? Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. And, um, well, it sounds like we're going to go across to something very fun. And uh, that's Taylor and Bushwalk. And I'm going to ask Taylor to show us how to use a rubbing post. <laughs> 